So now that we're in the season of autumn and trees are starting to get those nice warm tones to them, how can we go back and change some of our summer photos to potentially match this? So this is just a quick edit tip for you today. And this is using the calibration panel and the color mixer to be able to adjust the greens of your forest to turn them more into that autumn vibe. So let's have a look at this image here. Really bright greens that we've got going on. And I've got the calibration open. Now those of you that watch channels see that I always keep my calibration above my color mixer because rather than having the bottom, I find the two go hand in hand really well. But quite simply, if we take these slides and move them from side to side, we are affecting globally these channels so we're not just affecting here the blue colors unlike when i come down here and i desaturate my blues and you'll see nothing happens this is affecting globally so as i move this i'm going to be changing how the color looks across and you can see as i pull that 100 percent to the side we straight away are getting those warmer tones coming out of the one screens now as i pull the saturation down i can then sort of control how bright i might want that to be but what if we come up and we start combining some of these sliders together? So as I pull the red primary up and down, you can see that this also has an effect on it. And you get a bit more of like this magenta vibe going on here, which doesn't look quite good. But if you pull the other way, it goes towards the warms. And again, you can choose how saturated you want this to look. Now the green channel does a very, very similar thing, but this works nicely at giving us a base to work from. So if I toggle this on and off, I've changed our greens into this sort of burnt tone. Now this is where we can come down to the color mixer and we can decide how orange do we potentially want this to be. So now if I go onto my yellow channel and I pull my yellow channel down, you can see how it's actually affecting what was once green here. And pull that quite aggressively down to there to a place that I'm happy with. And I can do the same with the orange channel. And this is really where it, you can get very creative and it's entirely up to you how far you want to go with this. But it also depends on what else you have in your image as well. Now there's no blue skies in this, but you might find the blue becomes affected, in which case you may want to desaturate your blue channel. Or you might find some bits of aqua become introduced into the image. And again, you might want to bring it down. And obviously the best thing you could do is go and take the photos out in autumn itself. But this is really just to show you the power of the calibration tool. Now I won't go into it in great detail, but if you are interested in what all of these tools do, you can check out my masterclass that is down below. And if you're struggling to find forest edits, well, you can also get some presets down below as well on my website, where you'll be able to download a couple of free packs for yourself as well. But anyway, back onto this here. So interestingly, now if I take the green channel and I pull it up and down, it does have a slight effect, but very, very little considering that this was once green itself here. But I think I'm gonna pull this up towards there just a little bit and being very, very quick with this. And then as I come down to saturation, again, I can look at that image, the orange that I've introduced across the whole image and just desaturate that slightly uh, to whatever vibe I would like to get from this. Now, bear in mind, there is no other edits on this at the minute. It is just the calibration and the color mixer. So there's no contrast or anything put into here. But then you would just go through your sliders like you would do with everything else and decide how light or bright you want stuff. So I might want to darken down my oranges, but maybe accent out the yellows because they're a little bit subtler within there. And looking at the split screen before and after, you can see now we have managed to take a bright summery green image and turn it into a more of a burnt autumn vibe. So just to recap on that, you wanna start with your calibration, pull your red primary to the right and your blue primary down to the left there. You can then choose how much color you want to come through in this with the saturation. From there, you can further adjust these colors a bit more locally by pulling the yellows and the oranges up or down and just find the tone that you're happy with. Now, there's not as much interest going on in this image in terms of like different types of greens that are in here, but you might find if you're taking a forest shot with loads and loads of different types of greens, you're gonna get some really cool results from this. So that's just a quick Lightroom tip for you there today, hopefully to help you with your more autumn edits. And again, if you wanna learn more or grab any presets that are more autumn vibe or my moody forest patch you can visit the link down below otherwise like subscribe all of the usual and i'll see you in the next one